Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are good, guys. Today we're going to be reacting to Charlie Kick takes down anti Israel students. Guys, let's get right down to this. So, uh, speaking of America first, I have to point out that you spent half your speech talking about a foreign country thousands of miles away, uh, which brings me to my question. Um, last year, Turning Point USA hosted the Young Jewish Leadership Summit, during which you said, so a Christian that's not pro-Israel, I doubt they actually love their Bible. And I will stand by that statement. If you are a Christian that doesn't love Israel, then you take your Bible way, way, way too much for granted." End quote. So who are you to question the faith of Christian Americans that don't support a foreign country of a different religion that has spied on us, attacked us, and lied to us, like about WMDs in Iraq? And especially given your recent suggestion that Israel allowed the recent Hamas attacks to happen, why would you support a country that would do that? And do you still stand by your statement like you said you would? No, I, I definitely stand by the statement. Um, so I'm not an apologist for the Israeli government, but let me ask you, what religion was Jesus? What did he believe? Uh, yeah, well, obviously he was Jew, but oh. modern day Judaism is Hold on, hold on, really... time out, time out, time out. No, no, no. Where was Jesus born? Well, somebody say he was the first Christian. Well, hold on, time out. Well, wh where was Jesus born? Why does that matter? Well, no, do you know? Why does that matter? Okay, yeah, you're obviously not a Christian. You don't know where Jesus is born. He's born in Bethlehem. Okay. In Judea. So, and he was raised in Nazareth, and yeah. he walked on the water in Capernaum. What country are those places in right now? What does it matter? If it does matter. You know why? Because yeah. when I went to Israel, I came in contact with a living God that walked on water and rose Lazarus from the dead. When I went to Israel, I saw the Bible come to life. When I went to Israel... I saw Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and Sarah, Rebecca, and Leah in the Hall of the Patriarchs. When I went to Israel, what I read as Bible stories popped open, and I said, this is the Word of God. This is real. These are not fairy tales or fables or things that we tell our kids. When I went to Israel, I was able to cry where Jesus cried, where he was betrayed by Judas and arrested, where he rose from the dead and gives us eternal life. I am not an apologist for Israel, but I reject wholeheartedly this narrative. Christians who turn their back on Israel, it says in Genesis and Romans and First Thessalonians, Paul said you will bless the Jews. If you bless Israel, you will be blessed. If you scorn Israel, you will be scorned. The Israeli government, plenty of suspicious things going on. How do we know the Bible is true? Every day there are archaeological discoveries that confirm the truths of the Bible in First Samuel, in First Kings, in First Chronicles. There is a diabolical satanic agenda every single day to try and delegitimize the scriptures. And I will defend the Holy Land, the place that let me see where my Lord and Savior lived. And I will not apologize for that. Thank you very much. Next question. Thank you. Guys, I um I really love this. I um I'm so happy, you know. I've never been to Israel, <laughs> but I hope I would one day. But um, you know, I see these things, you know, online and I'm really happy, you know, having it in my heart that I am a Christian. I'm really happy that it's not just stories, fables, fairy tales, but it's actually real. This event actually happened. Like every single thing, you know, in the Bible, see, they are, um, they are facts. And I am one to believe in facts. And I see that these things are not just stories that are being made up, but these are things that actually happened. Like Jesus really died on the cross. Like he was really betrayed by one of his disciples. Like, these are things that have happened. They're not just stories. And I am so glad, you know, having it in my mind to be a part of this religion, to be someone who believes in Christ. Like, really, a lot is going on right now, you know, with, his, with Israel. But, like, I am not going to deny the Holy Land of which, you know, past events took place. But uh, I really, really hope that, you know, peace reigns. But guys, don't worry, think about this. Don't forget to like, subscribe to my channel. Love you guys. 